In our last episode, we adjusted the placement of these instruments and this vocalist on the stage by manipulating their panning. This time we're going to see if we can get them to play together nicely by adjusting their volume levels. So to follow along, go get the 1-2-1-2 volume multi-track session inside the Working Files multi-track session subfolder. There. Now if you've been playing along here, you'll recognize this. It looks very much like we left it off in the previous tutorial, but there is a slight difference. I've added an all instruments bus. I'm sending all the instruments except for the lead guitar to this bus so we can control all of them at once to kind of bring them down just a little bit when the vocalist is singing and then bring them back up when she's not. So we'll save that for a little bit later. All right, let's just listen to it for a while and just kind of work out a plan and kind of think, you know, how do we want to work this? And we may even want to move some of the instruments after we listen to it for a couple of seconds. Let me slide this over and see how it sounds. I couldn't give you what you wanted. I couldn't give what you were asking for. I couldn't give... So my thinking right off the bat is that vocalist is a little too quiet, but we'll deal with her later. And the guitar and the organ are both a little too loud. So let's just try to bring the guitar down, and I can do that on the fly as I listen to this. So I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can see the volume control right there, the amplitude control. And I'm going to play this, and as I play it, I'm going to bring the guitar down a little bit to a point where I think it's working okay. Perhaps something like that, minus 7.5. Now... Your perception of the mix will be different than mine, so you can choose whatever volume level you want. In fact, you may not want to change it at all. It's up to you. I think the bass is probably a little too quiet, but I'm going to come back to that one later after I bring the organ down. Let's listen to the organ. I'm going to adjust the organ volume or amplitude here in its bus. These two guys are routed to the bus via their outputs, and so we control both of them together here in the bus, one of the advantages of working with a bus. Let's listen to this for a while. How much you want me to stay? Okay, we've got the organ down where we want it. Now the horns are coming in and they are pretty prominent, but we're kind of off balance. We've got the organ on the right, which is a pretty dominant instrument. And we've got the horns on the right, which are really dominant when they come in. So right off the bat, I'm thinking I'd rather have the horns on the left. Well, fortunately, all four of them go through this bus. So I'm going to change them from right 65 to, let's say, left 50. So L50. Put them on the left side now, see what that sounds like instead of the right side. Expecting all of my love in return. I yeah, I think it works a little bit better. And I think we can leave it like that. You might want to move the guitar to the right, but we'll just leave the guitar to the left now. I think that it's working fine that way. Let's just adjust the volume level on the horns here. Let's listen to them for a little while here. What I wanted. Make this a lesson, honey, that you learn. Let's try one more time here. Be that way. Okay, brought them down a little bit. All right, let's go on to the bass and the drums. Let's listen to the drums for a second. I think that the drums are fine the way they are. The guitar still sounds just a little loud. I'm going to bring it down a little bit further. It's kind of a little too obvious. And then... Now I want to listen to the bass for a while. I think the bass is subtle in the background, but I want to give it a little bit more play, so I'm going to bring the bass up a little bit. You try to make me love you anyway. So I'm bringing up a couple of dB there. All right, so now we've got this mix going on pretty well. Let's just listen to the lead guitar for one second and see how that guy comes in. Just couldn't be that way. I just love how that distorted sound of the lead guitar. Really well done. All right, I think we've got things pretty well organized, but what I want to do now is I want to adjust the overall volume for the instruments while the vocalist is playing and also maybe bring her up a little bit. So I'm going to do that down here in this bus that I created for all the instruments. And I need to get the volume envelope for the track. There is no clip here, so I can't adjust the volume envelope in a clip. I need to adjust it for the track. And that's down below here. I need to open things up so you can see that little guy right there, Reed. If I click that disclosure triangle, that reveals the envelopes. And I could see panning here if I wanted as well, but I only want the volume envelope. So I'm going to start the envelope at 0 dB at this level right here while the vocalist is singing. And then I'm going to bring them up a little bit before she comes in. So let's expand the view here a little bit so I can just 
or zoom in on the view a little bit so I can just line it up where I see her come in. Now she comes in right there. I could. Right there is where she comes in. So that's where the instruments should just drop a little bit. So I'm going to put a keyframe on the envelope right there at zero. I like the mix of the instruments now. I think it's fine. I don't think it's stepping all over. We're going to raise her volume a little bit anyways. But when she's not singing, I want to bring them up just a little bit ahead of them. I'm going to bring them up maybe around 3 dB or something like that. Let's see what that sounds like. I couldn't give you what you wanted. So you can hear we dropped the instruments while she's singing, but before she came in, we played them a little bit louder. I'm going to go now to where that guitar solo is. I'm going to press the backslash key to zoom out. When the guitar solo comes in, I'm going to bring them back up again. So the guitar solo is over here where she stops singing. But it just couldn't be that way. So we can bring them up a little bit there, even though the guitar solo is coming in and we don't want to step on the guitar solo. He's so dominant that bringing up the instruments a little bit won't hurt that. So I'm going to go back down here, put a keyframe at the point right there where I want to start bringing them up and then bring them up about maybe 3 dB or so. It's kind of hard to really get the decibel level correct as I drag here, but I'm going to expand the view a little bit and that should help me get a more accurate play there. So three and a half dB, that's about right. Let's see how that sounds now. Bring it down a little bit. Tricky, here we go. Try this. Is the price you have to. Let me get a little closer. But it just couldn't be that way. Let me bring them up a little bit. Now I'll bring them down where she comes back in, which is right here. And she starts singing right there. So in the keyframe right before that point, and then bring them down just a skosh to get it back down to zero dB, which is their original volume level as we said it earlier. So let's just see what that sounds like. All right, there we go. And let's adjust her volume. I think she just needs to be louder in general. So we'll bring her up a little bit. Expecting all of my love in reach. So bring her up almost 3 dB, I think. I never said that's what I want. And finally, let's see. Let's listen to the finish of this thing just to see how the finish goes. No, how much you wanted me to stay. But it just couldn't be that way. finish. Well, I think we don't need to fix that. That sounds pretty good. So we've adjusted the mix. We came back here and fine tuned the mix. Uh, as we listen to it again, it's kind of like, maybe we should have done this instead of that, which is okay. That's one of the great advantages of working here in a non-destructive environment and also working with buses. And then we adjusted the overall volume and did some fine tuning by sending all the instruments to a bus. So you can see the flexibility built into Audition. And it really comes down to your taste. You decide, you know, what is working well. And again, if we have effects on here, that's going to change how we listen to the mix. But right now, listening to it dry, as they call it here, with no effects applied, I think you get a pretty good feel of how you can put these instruments together and get them all to play together nicely.